Lord Jesus, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, sa every time na pagpuri namin, Panginoon. And you, we can feel your presence, O oh God, upon this place, O oh God. We can feel you, Holy Spirit, upon this place, O oh God. And Lord, this morning, O oh God, we want you to touch the church, O oh God, with your fire, O oh God. With your divine fire, O oh Lord Jesus. As what you have did yesterday, O oh God, we believe, O oh God, that you can do it again today, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord, we are here, Lord, hunger. Hungry for your presence, oh God. And this morning, oh Holy Spirit, we continue to recognize and acknowledge you upon this place, oh Holy Spirit. Continue to let your presence flow, oh God. Continue, continue to be with us, oh God. And let your fire, let your fire ignite upon each of one's heart this morning, oh Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus, Lord. We thank you, oh God. We thank you for everything that you have done upon our life, oh God. For your love, oh Lord Jesus, for your unconditional love, oh God, that you have died upon that cross of Calvary, oh Lord Jesus, for all of us, oh God, sinners, Lord Jesus. Lord, we are not worthy of your love, oh God, but you still did it anyway, oh Lord Jesus, because you love us so much, oh God. You love us so much, oh God. And this morning, Lord, we want to return that love to you.
Desire the Holy Spirit this morning. Desire. Open your heart. Open your heart to Him. Yes, as we feel the presence right now. As we feel His presence lingering in this place. Yes, sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place, oh God. We welcome you, oh God. Like Jesus cares for me. Let your
because we can do nothing without you, oh Lord. Lord, this morning is nothing, oh God, if hindi mo kami sasamahan, Panginoon. Yes, oh God, church, open your mouth and worship Him. Worship Him this morning with open heart, oh God. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Holy Spirit, let your presence, let your presence and power, let your presence and power, let your presence and power. as we close our eyes this morning. Come on. Come that chorus. As we usher the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place. We need you, Lord, in our midst. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you. Hamlet song hanggat maranasan natin ang Diyos sa ating kalagitnaan for truly that apart from Him we are nothing but it's only through Him that we can do all these things Lord pour out your presence pour out your anointing in our midst Take over, Holy Spirit. Take over. Take over. Take over, Lord. Yes. One. 
hands again. Hum that song with all your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, enjoy the presence of the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. to host your presence this morning. Help us to usher your anointing this morning. Oh God, the Holy Spirit, God, the Holy Spirit, we love you and we honor you, Lord God. Yes, set my heart on fire for the last time. Kailangan namin ang iyong apoy ngayong umaga. Kailangan po namin ang iyong apoy. Lord, let your fire be upon us. Let your fire, 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 let your fire be upon us. Once again, set my heart on fire. Oh God, set my heart on fire. this morning as you bow down and close your eyes yes hallelujah as the instrumentalist is playing that song yes be sensitive to the presence of the Holy Spirit allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in us this morning just be silent is here. Yes. Just raise up your hand. Allow God to take over you. Allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in you.
Panginoon, salamat. Sa tuwing ikaw ay aming purihin at sambahin, lagi ka po naming nararanasan who we are, who we are, O oh Lord. Who we are, we are not worthy, but you made us worthy to be your habitation. You made us worthy that we are your temple. Who we are, O oh God, we are not worthy, O oh Lord. We thank you so much that you did not only give your life to us. You did not only save us. You did not only heal us. But you gave your Holy Spirit to each and every one of us. And we are your temple. We are your temple, God the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, God the Holy Spirit. For we are, we are in a point, oh God, that we're experiencing greater things than before. Thank you, God, the Holy Spirit. And we pray, Lord, that only your name be exalted and glorified. And this morning, Lord, we are not only your temple. We are praying that give us the baptism of fire this morning. Now we are not only baptized by your Holy Spirit. We will not only have the power in us. Make that power to explode in us, oh God. Holy Spirit, baptize us with your fire. And we believe that something great, something new, is going to happen each and every one of us. Ipaparanas mo ang mga bagay na hindi pa po namin nararanasan sa tanang buhay namin. That with our naked eye, we can see your power, your explosion of miracles and wonders. Anoint thy word, Holy Spirit, to the fullness of your anointing. It's not of the word of man's teaching, but it's your Holy Spirit who will preach and teach this morning, even in the Zoom and even in the live Facebook. Hayaan mo, Pangin, maging responsive po kami. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, na hindi kami maging passive. We will become active because we believe that the fire of the Holy Spirit will sweep this place, will inhabit your people. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus upon each and every one of us. And all of us will experience the greatest fire than before. We believe it. We believe it. We believe it. Come on. Say, I believe it. I believe it, Holy Spirit. I believe it. We believe it. Oh, Father, thank you so much. Thank you, God, the Holy Spirit. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name, this we pray. And everyone say, Amen. and everyone say, Amen. Amen. Sige pa, makakaupo na po tayong lahat. Praise God! Palakpakan nga po natin ang ating pong Panginoon. Yung nga pong palakpak para sa Diyos. Hallelujah! Praise, 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 praise be to the living God. Amen! I believe po na may gagawin ng Diyos ngayong umaga. Uh, we have preached last Sunday about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the outpouring. And the Lord led us to share uh, and to preach about uh, the baptism of fire. So, I am fired up. I am prepared for eternity. I believe po, mga kapatid, na ngayong umaga, maging sensitive po tayo sa kapangyarihan ng Holy Spirit. Dahil alam ko po, na ngayong umaga, pwede kang malampasan pag hindi ka responsive at hindi ka maging active to desire the fire of God in our midst. Kakaiba po ang ginawa ng Diyos kahapon. Nakaka-bless. We never expect The Holy Spirit move in an extraordinary way. Amen. Praise God. Kami po ay talagang ako po mismo personally na mangha. As in na hindi ko po inasana ganun ang pagkilos ng Diyos. Kaya sayang po yung mga hindi po nakarating. Praise the Lord. But before I have to share the word of God this morning, 
Tawag lang po tayo ng isa or dalawa na mag-testify ng ginawa ng Diyos kahapon to give God the highest glory. Lalo na po yung talagang kakaibayo pong presensya na ating pong inyo pong naranasan. Amen po ba? Praise God. Kasi talagang uh, pag-uwi namin ay hindi ko pa rin po makontain ng sarili ko na Lord. Grabe po yung pagkilos po ninyo kahapon. Anyone, anyone from the delegates yesterday who attended the encounter retreat, ang naranasan po ninyo, grabe. Even the first timers na na mga nag-EGR. Ibig ko pong sabihin from first timers, naging sila po'y disciple, and then uh, uh, they are now uh, regularly attending the church. Nakakabless talagang all of them were revived and restored. Okay, meron po ba? Meron po bang magpatutuo sa ginawa ng Diyos kahapon? Sige po, ipatutuo natin para mag-glorify po ang Panginoon. Magunahan na po kayo kasi sayang yung pagkakataon pong ito. Amen? So that the Lord be glorified. So that the Lord be honored. Lalo na po yung talagang nakadama ng kakaibayo pong presensya ng Lord na noon mo lang na-witnessan ang kakaiba yung pagkilos ng Diyos. Amen. Okay, sino po, who among you will testify the great move of the Holy Spirit yesterday? Amen. Sige po, magtakbuhan na kayo. O si Sister Mayros, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon sa kanyang... Akala ko tumatakbo ka. Ay, okay, bibigay mo yung mic. Okay po, anyone, any, bibigay pala yung mic. Okay po, anyone, anyone, yung naranasan po ninyo kahapon at yung na-witness. Okay, sige, sige me. Okay, praise God. Paki ano po yung mic? Come you. Oh, yun. Wala na. Okay, praise. Um, I just give the Lord God a victorious praise po kahapon because it was my first time in my life na 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 hindi ko na masabi na na experience ko po yung kahapon na for how many EGRs that I've been through kahapon talaga it was really really different while I was laughing na smiling while watching na laughing na tinatawanan ko sila but because I'm so happy of seeing how the presence of the Holy Spirit work upon us yesterday na parang parang wave It's like a wave na. Even Krista May told me last night, it's like, Mom, that was the experience that I never experienced before. Kasi when Pastora touched me and Kuya Jen touched me, she just like dropped down on my mother-in-law's arm. And then lahat talaga, it was like parang wave na. Tumayo sila, tapos bagsak na naman. Tayo sila, bagsak na naman. Tapos, di ba when after we get prayed here, di ba, ba tapos na, babalik na tayo sa upuan, right? Natawa ulit ako kasi pagbalik nila sa upuan, pagpunta na naman ni Kuya Jen doon, bagsakan ulit sila sa likod. And they're like planking yung parang nakaganon talaga na, na nanginginig and everything. And I also experienced the Holy Spirit kahapon like sasigaw ko because it's so fire, like it's so warm yung surrounding. And it was, after that I felt the contentment, the peaceful, yung pagmamahal niya sa ating lahat na talagang nandito siya, hindi siya nagbabago noon, ngayon, at kailan man. So, it was really a really a great experience and I thank the Holy Spirit na every time talaga na inaas natin siya na to come down, talagang nandito siya at pinapaparanas niya sa atin yung kapangyarihan niya. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to the living God. Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos na buhay. Meron pa po ba? Meron pa po ba? Uh, praise God to glorify and to honor the Lord Himself para mag-glorify natin, may taas at maparangalan ng Panginoon sa ating pong kalagitnaan. Meron pa po ba? Praise God who wants to testify the goodness, the greatness, as well as the miracle that you have received yesterday para mag-glorify ang Panginoon. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Lalo na po yung mga first-timers na nag-EGR. Yung pong mga, ano po yung nadam, nadama po ninyo? Ano po yung naranasan po ninyo? Praise the Lord. Sige po, testify, testify. Amen. Lalo na po yung mga first-timers na, na dumako kahapon. Okay, kahit hindi first-timer, praise God. Ano po yung naranasan po natin? Talagang sa akin, talagang nagulat ako sa kakaibang pagkilos ng ating Panginoon. Praise God. Meron pa po ba? Praise the Lord na gustong magpatutuo. Give God the highest glory. Uh, marami, uh, de deliverance, marami pong nag-vomit. Marami pong talagang napalaya. 
Meron pa pong isang member na ilang taon na hindi mapatawad ang asawa dahil sa ginawa sa kanya. Praise be to the living God. Yesterday, she already released forgiveness to her husband. Na umiiyak, nakakaiba yung aking naranasan. And while we are praying for forgiveness, nagvavamit po siya. Yun pala, ilang taon na hindi niya mapatawad-tawad ang kanyang asawa. But yesterday, she already forgiven her husband. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Meron din pong isa, nagpapako pa lang po ng, uh, pa, uh, naglalagay pa lang ng pako sa cross, mga kapatid, ay nagbabamit na po siya. Ang tagal, ang dami daw pong lumabas. Kasi siya po ay laging pumupunta sa albularyo at maraming mga pinapainom sa kanya at sa kaniyang paa po, parang meron po yata po siyang abnormality sa paa. Pero sabi niya, I felt fire, pastor, and I felt, I believe that the Lord already healed me. Ang daming lumabas. Hindi naman sumakit ang tiyan. Hindi po, pastor. As in na parang may bumabara sa aking lalamunan. But when I am putting the nail on the cross, the Lord, I, I've seen a light. Meron daw siyang nakitang parang bigla pong uh, napakaliwanag habang bumabalik sa upuan na parang akong nag-float. And then after that, Pastora, yung bumabara sa aking lalamunan, first time ministry that I experienced it, talagang nagvavamit, nagvavamit. At nung naivamit na niya lahat, I believe that I am already totally delivered. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Kaya po, sa umaga pong ito, mga kapatid, marami pa po mga nakaranas. Siguro po, nahiya lang po sila. Talagang ibang iba talaga kahapon ay talagang kumilos ang Diyos. So sandali pong ito, my brothers and sisters, the Lord wants to pour out His Holy Spirit upon us that we are not only desiring for the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well as the infilling and the outpouring. Ang kalooban ng Diyos ngayong umaga is that we will have the baptism of fire. Sabihin po natin lahat, baptism of fire. Okay. So hindi lang po pala baptism in the water. Hindi lamang po pala baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So can we just open our Bible if you have your Bible with you? Okay, just open your Bible. Okay, and Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. Our theme this month is I am fired up. I am prepared for eternity. Sabihin po tayong lahat, I am fired up. I am prepared for eternity. Amen. Praise God. Come on. Open our Bible and Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. Amen. Sabi po niya sa kanyang banal na kasulatan sa Matthew 3.11, Indeed, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. I repeat it. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And one more verse, Revelation chapter 2 verses 2 to 5. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not. And have found them liars, and you have persevered, you have patience, and labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You have left your first love. Verse 5, remember therefore from where you have fallen, repent and do the works, or else I will come quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Okay, again, the title of my message this morning is The Fresh Baptism of Fire. Can you just say it loud? One, two, three, go. Okay, fresh. Kaya nga po fresh, dapat every day. We always experience the fire of God in us. Amen. Okay, the main purpose of this baptism of fire is to prepare you for the second coming of Christ. Amen. That you are not only filled with the Holy Spirit of God. You are not only baptized with the Holy Spirit of God. That you are not only contented that you are always attending every Sunday. You are not always contented that you are a believer, but the Lord wants you 
to have the power. And that power will not be activated unless you are baptized with fire. Okay, the very purpose, I repeat it, of the baptism of fire is to prepare you para ihanda ka niya sa second coming of Christ. Don't you know, my brothers and sisters, the coming of the Lord is so near. Hindi natin alam kung kailan, anong oras, anong buwan, anong taon. Kaya kailangan, hindi lang hindi ka lang contento na every Sunday dumadalo ka. Hindi ka lang contento na every Wednesday dumadalo ka ng Zoom. Every, every, don't watch. You know, my brothers and sisters, the Lord wants us to have that fire. Ano po yung fire na tinutukoy po natin rito? Kasi po, karamihan sa atin, because of this pandemic, ay naging, naging uh, uh, dry ka, naging stagnant ka. Yung pagmamahal mo sa Lord, your first love to God was already become cold. Naging malamig ka na sa Panginoon. Para bagang wala ka nang masyadong ganang magpray, wala ka nang masyadong ganang dumalo sa church. Minsan napipilitan ka na lang. And the Lord wants us to to baptize us with fire. At sabi niya rito, as my introduction, there will be unusual baptism of fire. What will happen if you are baptized with the fire of God? There will be signs, wonders, and miracles in your family. When we have the baptism of fire, there will be signs and wonders in your finances. In your health, in your work, in your business, in your marriage, in this church, and even in this nation. There will be unusual harvest of souls. Amen? Can you just say it? Harvest of souls. You know, before the EGR happened, uh, three consecutive nights, the Lord revealed to me in a dream that on that, on that day, uh, three days consecutive, that I have seen in my dream that people are coming to this church. Ang first service hindi pa natatapos. The Lord showed me in my dream ang mga tao nakapila na daw sa labas. As in a very crowded ang mga tao. Hindi pa daw natatapos ang first service. Second night na naman, the same ang daming mga tao, hindi ko po kilala. And then on the third uh, night na consecutive, Sabi ko, Lord, kung ito po ay uh, uh, na, na itaon lang, pero bakit sunod-sunod na gabi na paginipan? And the third day, ay yung pong nangyari kahapon. Actually po, I have dreamed that na as in na uh, yung encounter daw natin, full pack daw tayo at kumilos ang Holy Spirit na paginipan ko before the EGR. And when I've seen the delegates yesterday, I thought there were only 30 or 40 delegates. But praise be to the living God, including the workers, we have 70 plus full pack po tayo. Tapos hindi lang po yan. Talagang hindi ka pa po nagpipray sa mga tao as in uh, they were weeping, uh, they were trembling, they were shaking. Hindi mo pa sila nilelehens, naislain na po sila, sabi ko, Lord. Hindi pa po namin sila nilalapitan. Grabe po na talagang naislain na. And according to their testimony, Pastora, I cannot uh, I cannot understand myself how come that my body is so hot? How come that there is somewhat kind of inner peace and hindi ko pa nararanasan sa tanang buhay ko? Kakaiba yung kilos kapon, sabi nila. I believe, Lord, you visit us yesterday and today the Lord will also visit us if you are responsive and if you believe it that the Lord will do something great this morning. Palakpakan natin ang Diyos. Hindi mo lang maramdaman ng gusba. Hindi ka lang mas late sa power ng Holy Spirit. Kundi, even in your family, you will be surprised and amazed. Mayayaya mo na sila every Sunday. In your finances, as in abaun ka sa utang, when you have the baptism of fire, the Lord will miraculously intervene sa mga utang mo na may gagamitin ng Diyos para mabayaran mo lahat. Pastora, imposible yan. Matthew 21, 22, to men, this is impossible, but to God, all things are possible. Sa relasyon niyong mag-asawa, as in na nagiging malabo na, nagkakaproblema na kayo. When you see the baptism of fire, you will be surprised. Ang iyong asawa ay bumait na. Ang iyong asawa ay bumalik na sa iyo. Dati, meron siyang ibang ka-affair. So when we say the baptism of fire, grabe po yung mga miracles na makikita natin. Yung lumpo makikita mo with your naked eye makakalakad. Yung naka-wheelchair makikita mo, tatayo at maglulundagan sa harap dahil pinagaling ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? And that is that, that the result when the baptism of fire will be upon His people. Amen po ba? Ang mga tao na tamad ng dumalo, ang mga tao na ilang taon na, na 
hindi dumadala sa church, you will be surprised. They are now coming to the church na kahit wala ng reservation, ay talaga namang on fire na on fire. So kaya po ito ang kailangan natin. There will be unusual harvest of souls. Breakthroughs in our lives. Whatever you saw, you will reap it with joy. Yung mga bukol sa yung uh, sa yung uterus, ang bukol sa yung breast, hindi ka pa nagpapasurgery, natutunaw na. Magugulat ka, the doctor will tell you, oh, Mrs., you are ca- stage for cancer. I am so surprised because the lump or the bukol is already gone. How come what happens to you? I only pray, doctor, and my Lord Jesus, my greatest healer. Ang may mga cancer, magugulat ka. They will declare you as cancer-free. That will happen when the baptism of fire will be upon His people. Even though you're not a pastor, even though you're not a leader, a worker, when you lay your hands to the sick, the sick shall recover. When you share the word of God to the people, they thought that you're a pastor, but you're an ordinary worker. You did not go to Bible school, but because you have the baptism of fire. Amen? Kaya po mga kapatid, napakalagang maintindihan po natin ang baptism of fire. At sabi niya rito, it will start everything through the fresh baptism of fire. And it will distinguish between the remnant and the rest of the church. Alam niyo po, there are three kinds of people uh, in this crisis, in this pandemic, global global uh, uh, pandemic na to. There are three kinds of people. Uh, see, where are you? Okay? Who are these three kinds of people? Number one, are those, ang pinag-uusapan po natin po rito, mga Christian believers, ha? Mga Christian believers. Yung mga nagsimula sa Panginoon na kung saan po, after this pandemic, ito ang naging resulta ng nangyayari ngayon na global pandemic. People, sabihin po natin lahat, uh, next slide na po tayo, mga computer uh, in charge. Number one po ay, number one, pakibasa ng malakas. Who are these first kind of people? One, two, three, go! Okay, sabi na po natin, stagnant. These are the people who remain spiritually dry, not growing spiritually. They did not cross over to the new era. Ano po yung new era natin ngayon? This is the revival. The Holy Spirit is coming. Malalampasan ka. Kasi sila po ay nanunood lang. They stay behind. Natatakot silang mag-cross over. Natatakot po silang dumalo sa church. Baka sila'y ma-COVID. Kaya sila'y naging stagnant. Hindi na rin sila nag-zoom. Hindi na rin po sila dumadalo ng midweek. Hindi na rin sila nag-donwash. Kasi naging stagnant. Stagnant sila. But those who are here, I believe that we are not stagnant. Amen po ba? Palakpakan nga po natin ang Panginoon. Those stagnant people, ay ito din po yung pong mga nagsimulang mainit. They started right. They started with fire on their heart. But because of crisis, because of coronavirus, because of problems and trials, because of their sickness and diseases, they become spiritually dry. Naging stagnant sila, naging bonsai. Hindi na sila lumalago. Hindi na sila naggugro. Kasi wala ng appetite sa kanila. Wala na silang appetite sa Panginoon. Ang kanilang prayer life, magpray na lang sila once a week. Magbasa sila ng Bible once a year. Parang stagnant na eh. Wala na. Wala na yung joy. Wala na po yung kakaiba, yung kapayapaan sa kanilang puso. Alam nyo, nakakatakot po ito. Mangyari, pag mawawalan ka na ng joy sa yung Christian faith. Nakakatakot mangyari pag tinatamad ka ng magpre, tinatamad ka ng dumalo sa church, maging stagnant ka, baka isang araw pag iwanan ka, eh Lord, tinanggap ka namang bilang Lord Jesus ko, kaya naintindihan mo ako, Panginoon, kahit hindi ako dadalo sa church. No! You can be left behind if you remain stagnant. Amen? You started very hot. He started very on fire. But because of problems, because of trials, you become stagnant. Amen? Hindi ka, dati ang, namemora, ang, ang memory, memoryado mong verse nung naborn again ka, John 3.16. Limang taon ka nang born again, John 3.16 pa rin. Hello? Amen po ba? Bato-bato sa langit, ang matamaan po'y gumising at magbago para makasama po tayo pagdating ng araw. Amen po ba? 
Nung bago-bago mong born again, ang awit mo, ang awit mong laging inaawit ay yung bagang kamole spirit fall on me now. Kailangan nagle-level up ka yung worship mo sa Panginoon. Kasi pag istagnan ka, wala ng anointing. Pag istagnan ka po ay wala na yung joy, wala na yung excitement. Dati-dati, nung bago-baguhan kang Christian, pag dumalo ka, dala-dala mo pa yung malaki mong Bible. Amen. Pero nung 10, 5 years ka ng Christian, wala ka ng daladalang Bible, nagwidwidawid ka at ang mga mighty church. Dati-dati, ang aga mong dumadalo sa church, nung bago-baguhan ka pa lang. Pero nang tumatagal na, ikaw na yung, ikaw na, yung pinakalate na dumarating. Dati-dati po, you are so on fire to God. My brothers and sisters, wake up. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, wake up. I don't want to become stagnant. Amen? Stagnant ka. Pag nagpipraise and worship na tayo, nakamasig ka na lang. Imbes na umawit ka, imbes na nararamdaman mo, Lord, bakit hindi ka na nararanasan? Kasi anak, naging stagnant ka na. Nagplato ka na. Parang contento ka na sa Christian faith mo. Hindi ka na nagde-desire na magle-level up ang faith mo. Amen? Number two kind of people, I believe that you are not on this stagnant Christians. Number two, people who are quitters. Sabi po na lahat, quitters. Sino naman po yung mga quitters? Those people who cannot overcome the crisis. It's very difficult to get up. They give up because they lost their relationship to God. They give up their faith and quit. They stop praying. They stop serving. They stop giving their tithes and offering to God. And they stop committing their lives to God. Listen, iba pag member ka lang at iba pag ginagamit ka ng Lord. Amen po ba? Kasi pag ginagamit tayo ng Lord, talagang obligado kang magpray, obligado kang magdevotion o magpapasubmit ang mga ang mga leader niyo. Oh, submit now your devotion. Amen. Oh, those who have their 24/7 prayer, listen. Those who have not yet involved in the church, involved in the ministry, because if not, you will easily quit. Bakit ka mag-quit? Kasi ikaw ay walang nagpipray sa'yo. Wala nang nag-encourage sa'yo. Bagamat dumadalo kayo every Sunday. But when you will not involve yourself to the work of God, there is no more excitement, joy, and fire. Kaya kailangan mag-involve lahat tayo, either sa ushering, mag-involve ka sa, sa ta, prayer ministry, mag-involve ka sa life group, dumalo ka ng life group. Alam niyo po, I've seen it, that those who always attended Bible studies, they are always on fire. And those who always attended Bible studies, midweek, Don't wash, they are always on fire. Pero subukan mo, hindi dadalo sa church kahit dalawang linggo lang. Ang daming mga nilalagay ng kaaway sa isip mo, ang daming mga problema ang dumarating. Subukan mo hindi dumalo ng Bible study, manlalamig ka. Amen po ba? Kaya po bakit maraming nagkikwit? Because they already stopped praying. Nawawalan na rin sila ng ganang manalangin. Nawawala na rin sila ng ganang maglingkod sa Panginoon. Nawawala na rin silang ganang magbigay ng kanilang mga kaloob sa Diyos. Pero when you are on fire, kahit everyday may Bible study, kahit everyday meron pong mga gathering, hindi ka napapagod because you are on fire. Amen? Palakpakan nga po natin ng Panginoon. Alam niyo po, praise be to the living God, talagang ang Lord napakabuti. Kasi po, kagabi nagsumpa si Brother Jen as I am finalizing my outline. Nakatul uh, natulog po ako mga 11.43. Si Brother Jen, 11.15. Sabi ko, ang bilis mo ka ako. Ang bilis mong gumawa e sa akin. Ang tagal-tagal mo kasi, sabi niya. E kasi, I am praying for the teaching. Hindi po madaling gumawa ka kung ganun. Pero tinatype ko na lang po. 11.43. I, I, I alarm my clock for, actually po, nagigising po kami mga 3 o'clock. Kahit anong oras kami matulog sa gabi, we will wake up at 3 a.m. Bakit? 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. will be our prayer time praying for all of you. Because it's not so, uh, it's not easy to stand in front of you without praying and depending on the Holy Spirit. Pag hindi po kami nagpipray, mga kapatid, ay wala pong power ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya we cannot stand apart from God. So ano pong nangyari, tinime ko po yung aking pong uh, uh, cellphone ng 2.59 at yung isa naman po is 2.50. 
Bakit before three? Kasi dapat three o'clock magpe-pray na kami. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, nagkalam nung una, hindi ko po namalaya na in-stop ko pala. Nagkalam ulit yung pangalawa, in-stop ulit. Si Brother Jen din, nag-alarm, 3.30, in-stop din niya. At para sa isip ko kanina, parang Monday. Monday, eh pag Monday, uh, rest day. Sabi ko, parang inanang kayo, Monday, Monday. Sabi niya, hoy, gising na na! Sabi niya, bakit? 5.30 na! Ala, five, kasi 5.30, gumagayak na kaming papunta dito para mag-pray sa mga wind warriors po natin. Sabi niya, bilisan, bilisan, bilisan ninyo! Sabi ko, hakala ko Monday. Pero sabi ko, Lord, we're very, very sorry. Ngayon lang po ito nangyari, Panginoon. We're very sorry. We lack prayer. But I believe it's only by your grace and mercy na makakatay. Pero nagpray pa rin po kami ng 30 minutes. Kaya sabi ko, wag na tayong maligo, maghilamos na lang, takbo na tayo. Praise be to the living God. Nakahabol po kami rito. Kina Ate, I, Ate Imelda, mga nagpipray na po sila. Mga 6, uh, 6, 17 na. Pero usually nakakarating po kami dito sa church. Mga 5, 55 or Uh, yeah, before 6, andito na kami with the Kuya Rod, ang mga intercessors natin kina Ate Minerva. Salamat kay Mark, at 5 o'clock, andito na si Brother Mark. Where's Brother Mark? Palakpakan natin si Brother Mark. Ito po, yung matyaga po nating tagabukas. Amen? That's why, mga kapatid, if you are on fire, kahit pagod ka maghapon, kasi lumabas po kami sa church kahapon ulit from from uh, 8, uh, 8 a.m., 8, nakarating kami, alas 8 na rin, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, almost 12 hours. Ma ma Madilim-dilim kaming lumabas. Pagdating, madilim na naman. You know when you are on fire, hindi mo iniinda ang pagod at puyat dahil the Holy Spirit is our strength. Amen? Amen. Kaya po hindi po madaling mag-preach without the Holy Spirit. That's why we always acknowledge the Holy Spirit of God. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, we need the Holy Spirit. Sa kabila naman po, we need the Holy Spirit. At sabi mo sa sarili mo, I need to be fired up today. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Do not quit. Huwag tayong mag-quit. Amen? Mabuti may boses na ako. Kaninang umawit ako, kaninang umaga. Lord, bakit wala na namamaus na ako? Lord, if you want me to preach, Lord, give me that voice. Kaya lumakas na po yung aking, wala na yung pamamaus ko. Praise God, the Lord is really moving. And lastly, people who are remnant. Amen? Sabihin po natin lahat, remnant. Who are these remnant? These are the people who will endure till the end. They will come out strongly. They will be faithful. They will be loyal until the second coming of Christ. They have the baptism of fire from God. They are spiritually filled and baptized with the Holy Spirit. Yung mga remnant, kahit anong mangyari, go, go, go pa rin. Amen po ba? Kahit anong marinig na balita, they were not affected. But the more that they keep serving and focusing their faith to the Lord. Kahit ano pong mga problema ang dumarating, you are not shaken, you are not, you are not depressed, you are not a loser. But dahil alam mo na ang Panginoon ang kasakasama mo. Amen po ba? Na kahit ano pong mga pagsubok na maranasan mo, nagtitiwala ka sa pindit, alam mo na ang Panginoon ang laging nasa sa atin. You are always filled You are always baptized. You are baptized and always filled with the Holy Spirit. Ito po yung mga makakasama pagdating ng araw. Amen? Remnant. When you say remnant po, uh, they will be those people who are always on fire to serve God, to, to pray. They are always on fire. When we worship God, talagang nararamdaman mong kanyang presence. Pa, paano masasabing stagnant ka na? Pag nagpupuri ang mga worship team, nakaganyan ka na lang. Nakamata ka lahat. Nakapikit lahat. Bigay na bigay sa Lord. Kaya every time that we have the praise and worship, I will give my best to God. And habang ako'y nagpupuri, tinitignan ko kung sino yung mga remnant, kung sino yung mga quitters, kung sino po yung mga spectators. Meron pa po, bigay na bigay na po yung mga iba. Nakaganyan pa rin siya. Tumitingin siya sa Zoom kung sino yung mga nasa Zoom. Amen. You are stagnant. You know, if you are spect spectator, tagamasid ka lang, malalampasan ka ng apoy ng Diyos ngayon. That's why you should not be an spectator, but you must be a worshiper of God. Amen? Ang mga remnant po ay talagang bigay na bigay na magpuri sa Diyos. 
Ano man po ang kalagayan ng buhay, may pagsubok man, may pagpapalaman o wala, they will always love God with all their heart, with all their soul, and with all their mind. Amen? At pag nakikita ang Lord ang puso mo, ang kuhawan mo sa Lord, walang rason na hindi niya ibubus ang kanyang apoy sa iyo. Kaya huwag mong hayaan na malampasan ka ngayong umaga. Okay, what is the baptism of fire? Okay, what is the baptism of fire? Praise the Lord. Paano say baptism of fire? It is the submerged, the immersed, consumed with fire. Okay, Hebrews 10.29, For our God is a consuming fire. Another verse, Luke 12.49, I, I come to send fire on this earth that if that it will be already kindled. Ano pong ibig sabihin po nito, mga kapatid? When we say the baptism of fire, again, it is to submerge to immerse and to consume with fire. You are consumed. You are submerged and immersed in the power of God and there is fire in you. Okay, wala pa sa aking outline. When you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, again, there is already power in you. But listen, the power will not activate it if you are not baptized with fire. Meron ka ng power, meron ka ng kapangyarihan. Pero pag hindi mo yaan gamitin, maging stagnant ka. So kailangan ang power na ito, mga kapatid, you must explode it. Pastora, how can I explode it? This is what we call the baptism of fire. Explode in your prayer. Explode in serving God. Explode in sharing the word of God. Kasi pag yung power na, nakarimain lang sa iyo, is in, in, in one day, you will become stagnant. Kaya kailangan pag meron kang kapangyarihan, pag alam mo na si Holy Spirit na sa sayo, gamitin mo to. How? Share the word of God. Kailangan maglingkod ka ng buong puso. Ipaggamit mo ang buhay mo sa Lord. Kasi pag hindi mo yan ipapagamit, there will come a time na yung power ay nakarinain lang sa iyo. Nakukuha? Explode that power by serving God, by praying, by sharing to the people, to those who are in need. Kung ikaw ay naniniwala na ang Diyos ay gumagawa ng Himala, gamitin mo yung kapangyarihan na yun. When you pray, you should explode that fire by praying with boldness, praying with courage and a strong faith because you have the fire of God. Amen? Pero pag hindi ka nagpipray, if you are not praying every day, and then that fire will not be upon you. Pag magpray ka, yes Lord, pagalingin niyo po ako. Is that fire? Is that a prayer with fire? Hello? Pag magpray ka, hindi pa marinig ang prayer mo. Pag nagpipray ka, uh, as in na parang depressed ka. Sige na Panginoon, pagalingin mo na. Nagmamakaawa ka. That's not the prayer of a person baptized with fire. Lord, you will heal me. Lord, you will provide my finances. You are the creator of heavens and the earth. You should be bold and courageous. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Alam niyo, my believers in the Lord, pag manalangin ka at walang kalatoy-latoy ang prayer mo, walang nangyayaring himala. Panginoon, i-bless mo ako. Pag ang kaaway, ninanakaw na niya. Yung prayer mo, lumabas lang sa yung ngipin, pero walang nangyaring himala. Pero how come when you pray, receive healing in Jesus' name? Pagpato mo pa lang nung kamay mo, andun na yung power because there is fire in you. Amen po ba? Pag magpuri ka sa Lord, talagang give your best to the Lord and that is on fire. Amen? Kasi walang mangyayaring himala when you are stagnant and when you are when you are passive, you should be active. Ang sabi pa po niya po rito, mga kapatid, there are two kinds of fire na gusto ko pong iwan sa inyo. Two kinds, two kinds of fire. Ano po yung unang klase ng fire? Meron po palang dalawang klase ng fire. Number one, pakibasa po natin ng malakas. One, two, three, go. Okay, lakasan po natin. Yung nga pong pagbasa na meron kang fire in you. One, two, three, go. Okay, this is one kind of fire. This is the fire of God. Again, Matthew 3.11. When Jesus comes, He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and with fire. Listen, the fire of God is a fire of love, purity, and power. We need this fire 
every day of our lives. Because without the fire of God, you live without true life. You live without passion. You live without power. Ang tinutukoy po ng fire of God po rito is the fire of love. Kahit hindi po karapat dapat na mahalin, pag you are baptized with fire, kaya mo silang mahalin at patawarin. Kahit anong sugat ang ginawa nila sa iyo, kahit anong wound, whatever wound that they put in your heart because of that baptism of fire in you, para bagang ang bilis mo silang nakalimutan ang ginawa nila sa iyo, ang bilis mo silang mahalin, hindi maraming Kristiyano, kahit 10 years, 15 years Christian, hindi pa niya napatawad ang taong grabing nakapasakit sa kanya. I'm also blessed with uh, Sister Mary Ann, yung isang uh, teller po sa Bank of Hawaii. Ilang buwan pa lang siyang dumadalo, I think 2 to 3 months, and then she attended the AGR. Naiyak ako sa sabi niya, you know, I thank God I've already forgiven the person who hurt me so, so, so much. Tatlong beses yung binanggit. So, so, so much. So, ibig sabihin, malalim ang sugat. Amen po ba? Malalim. Kasi, so, tapos, naiiyak na po siya. Kaya naiiyak na rin pa ako kanina bang nagtetestify nung, nung ano kahapon. Sabi ko, Lord, that is the fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yung when you say, baptism of fire din po, this is the fire of purity. Sabi po lang nila, purity. When you say purity, ay nabubuhay ka ng tama. Na kahit na maghubad ang babae sa harapan mo, Brother Kedes, you are not tempted because you have the fire of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love my wife. Lord, my wife is the most beautiful woman in the universe. Lord, I will not be tempted. Why? You are not be tempted because the fire of the Holy Spirit is in you. Kahit anong tukso, kahit anong kasalanan, hindi ka kumakapit sa kasalanan because the fire of God is upon you. Amen po ba? Kahit anong ginagawa nilang masama, hindi ka natutokso. Kahit tagayan ka nila ng alak, Brother Alan, hindi mo kailanman tinikman ang alak dahil alam mo na si Holy Spirit ay nasa puso mo. Amen po ba? Pero, pag ikaw ay nabubuhay pa rin sa kasalanan, nabubuhay ka pa rin sa kamunduhan, mga kapatid, hindi ka pa rin totally baptized with fire and the Holy Spirit. Na kahit anong gawin nila sa iyong itulak ka nilang magkasala, you are never tempted because the fire of God is in you. Alam niyo, maraming born again Christian, sinasabing born again, pero nabubuhay pa rin sa kamunduhan. Nabubuhay pa rin po sila sa kasalanan. Nabubuhay pa rin sila ng sasaktan nilang puso ng Pero listen, when you have the baptism of fire, you are living with purity and holiness. And one more, baptism of fire is also the fire. There is power in you. Yung sinasabi natin, power, power to do miracles, power uh, to reconcile every broken relationship, power to heal the sick, power to deliver the oppressed. Nakakabless kahapon, kahit yung pong mga ordinary yung mga work, care, as they prayed, nag slay ng mga pinagpipray nila, sabi ko, Lord, really, the power of God is so strong yesterday. Ang mga worker natin, nung ikaw nang magpray, habang pinagpipray nila, na-slay yung mga pinagpipray nila. Ibig sabihin po, meron tayong kapangyarihan. Kayo may kapangyarihan the moment that you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, may power ka. Palakpakan nga po natin ang Diyos. May power ka. May kapangyarihan ka. Kaya, huwag mong minamaliit ang pagiging kristyano mo. Pag may sakit karamdaman ka, ilayens mo yung katawan mo. Uh, Kuya Robert, I believe that there, there is power in you because there is the fire of God in you. Kaya ngayong umaga po, mga kapatid, ay kailangan maging sensitive ka, maging desirous ka. Kailangan desire, desire the baptism of fire because it says here, without the fire of God, your life, you live without true life and without passion. Okay, sabi pa po niya po rito, mga kapatid, praise the Lord. Next slide po. Uh, pangalawang klase ng fire is the strange fire. Sabi po na let is strange. Ano po yung strange fire ko yung scar? Strange fire, unauthorized, foreign or profane. When yung fire of God po, the spirit of God is on the throne. The spirit of the Lord is on you. Ang um, strange fire, flesh ang nananahan. Yung ang strange po, unauthorized foreign or profane. According po to Leviticus chapter 10, verses 1 and 2, come on, open your Bible, buksan lang po natin saglit ang Leviticus chapter 10, verses 1 and 2. 1. Aaron, sons, Nadab, and Abihu took their censers and put fire in them, added incense. 
they offered an authorized fire before the Lord, contrary to His command. Verse 2, so fire came, came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them. They died before the Lord. Listen, grabe po yung nangyari. Nag-offer po ni Aaron at Nadab, mga kapatid, ng insenso sa Panginoon na hindi po itinotorize ng Lord. Pakinggan yung maigi. Anong nangyari kina Nadab at saka po, uh, Nadab at saka si Abihu, mga anak po ni Aaron, because they offered unauthorized. When say unauthorized, hindi yun kinalugdan ng Diyos. Alam niyo, on that day, they died. Grabe po pala pag mag-offer ka ng handog sa Lord, Pag ikaw ay mag-offer ng handog sa Lord na wala sa puso, na ito po ay galing sa flesh mo. When you say strange fire, there are mixtures. A little bit of self, a little bit of God, and a little bit of demonic. Amen. Like for example, Pastora, anong ibig sabihin? Halimbawa, oh Pastora, I will donate to the church this $10,000. Nag-offer ka sa Lord, Pero pastora, may condition ha. Kailangan gawin mo akong assistant pastor mo. There is a condition. Lord, I will come every Sunday to the church. But Lord, bless me and heal me. Nag-offer ka nga sa Lord. But that is unauthorized. That is that your flesh is the one on the throne. That's why when you offer to God, do it for the glory of God. Amen? When you are serving God, it's not because of the pastor. It's not because of your leader. It's not because to please men, but to please God above all else. Amen? Kasi sinasabi ko sa mga worship team, kung kayo'y tumutugtog lang, kung kayo'y umaawit lang for the sake, for the sake that people will see you, kailangan hindi na kayo tatayo sa harap. Kasi baka tumutugtog ka lang for the sake na sinabi lang tutugtog sa'yo. Pag wala sa puso, huwag mo nang gagawin. Yun ang lagi mong sinasabi kay Hana, kung wala sa puso ang pag-awit at pagsamba, do not use your voice for God. Sabi kong ganon. Sabi niya, mama, hindi naman, sabi niya. And I want that your voice should be offered to God. Kung pwede, huwag kang umawit ng mga worldly. Kasi your voice, the Lord give you a voice to worship Him. Kaya yung voice mo para sa Lord lang yan. Yung talento mong binigay, yung anointing, gamitin mo lang sa Lord yan para hindi ma-defile ang anointing. Amen? Maging mga tumutugtog. Palakpakan nga po natin ang Panginoon. Maging mga tumutugtog, kailangan mga organist, mga pianist, kailangan nakikinig ng word of God, hindi nagsiselfone during the service. Amen? Because if you are doing the one, the pastor can not see you, your leader cannot see you, but the Holy Spirit seeing you, what are you doing? You are the song leader. You must listen to the word of God because you will catch the anointing and you will you will, you will will uh, extend to the people. Halimbawa, tumutugtog ka, ikaw ang song leader, pero during the preaching, nasi cellphone ka, naglalaro ka ng, ng game sa iyong cellphone. Ano ang fire na matatanggap mo? Bato-bato sa langit, ang matamang po'y huwag magagalit. Yung iba, kala mo nakikinig, pero nagpe-pay Facebook, you are offering an authorized fire to the Lord. Yes, ang agaga mong pumupunta, ang uh, three services ka pa dumadalo, yes, yun ang paglilingkod mo, pero you're doing it for men, not doing it for God. That's why you cannot experience the fire of God in your life. Bakit ganun pa rin ang buhay? Bakit hindi ka pa rin nababago? Because the fire that you're offering to God is not to please God, is to please men. Amen. So so sorry po, wala na po sa aking outline po ito. That's why when you offer fire to God, ano po yung oh, you offer mong fire? Service to Him. Your prayer to Him. Your reading the Word of God to Him. Ano pa po yung ating pagbibigay ng ating handog sa Diyos. Kaya nga po, lagi yung sinasabi sa iyo, pag hindi pa ninyo nauunawa ng tights, wag muna kayong magbigay. Mas maging wag kang magbigay. Amen? Kasi nagbibigay ka nga ng tithes, minibigay mo yung 10% mo, kinocompete mo naman, oh Lord, nagbigay ako ha. Oh, limang daan nung last week. Lord, nagbigay. Yung bagang kinocompute mo ang binibigay mo sa Lord. Ultimo buhay mo, saan galing yan, di ba, sa Panginoon. Kaya sabi ko sa inyong lahat, pag hindi mo pa naintindihan ng ibigay ang 10% mo sa Lord, do not offer or do not give because you're only giving a strange fire. 
mga kapatid. Kaya pag hindi pa ninyo naintindihan ang maglingkod sa Lord, pag hindi, pag hindi ka patot, ali na deep sa Lord, mas maigi, huwag kang maglingkod. Haya mo nang palaguin ka ng Lord. Kaya po yung mga nagpapawater baptism, usually po before, when they want to be baptized, when they're already attending the church, we allow them to be baptized in water. But today, the Holy Spirit is leading me. Before you baptize them in the beach, they should have first the basic seminar and they should attend the encounter retreat. Lord, ang tagal naman. Eh, yun ang sabi ng Lord eh. Kaya hindi ko muna po inaalaw na mag-water baptism pag hindi pa po nila talaga na naintindihan. Ano po kayo? Di ba yung ibang mga churches? Kahit first time mo palang dumalo sa church, ah, oh, magpapaptize na kayo para maligtas kayo. Di ba? Ganun yung mga iba. Pero dito, It's God-centered and the Holy Spirit is our leader, our pastor. Kaya whatever be the Lord told us to do, kailangan sumunod tayo so that we will not offering an strange fire. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, Lord, I will offer my life to you with all my heart, soul, and mind. Amen? Without any strange fire. At sabi po niya po rito, mga kapatid, ano po, dito na po ako magtatapos. How to have the baptism of fire. Simple lang po ang gagawin natin, all of us. How to have the baptism of fire. Amen. If you want to be baptized with fire this morning, repent and do the things you did at first. Can we just open our Bible in Revelation 2 to 5? Yung binasa ko po, mga kapatid, sa una po kanina, Revelation chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. Paki-flash mo nga po, Brother Chris, sa New King James Version. If you can flash it, basahin ko lang bago tayo magtapos. Okay, pakibasa po natin ng malakas. One, two, three, go! Okay. Next slide, basahin po na punong-puno ng fire. One, two, three, go! Verse 3 na po tayo, Brother Chris. Okay, lakasan. Verse 4. Verse 5. Okay, listen, listen, my brothers and sisters, before you receive the fire this morning. How to have the baptism of fire? Repent and do the things you did at first. Because ang kinalulungkot ng Diyos before, we are so passionate, we are so excited. There is joy in our Christian faith. But habang lumilipas ang oras, panahon at taon, nawawala na po yung first love. And what is that first love? Yung unang love na naramdaman mo nung tinanggap mo si Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Sabi ng Lord, magsisi ka. Repent and do the things you did at first so that I will not come. Because if you will not repent, I will come and remove you from your lampstand. Amen. Kaya magsisi na po tayo ngayong umaga para matanggap mo ang fire ng Holy Spirit, the baptism of fire. Whatever be we have done before, seen that known and unknown sin. Pag nabubuhay ka pa rin sa kasalanan, nabubuhay ka pa rin sa kamunduhan, this is now the time to repent. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, repent now before it's too late. Amen? Bago po mahuli ang lahat, mag-repent na po tayo, mga kapatid. And number two, how to have the baptism of fire? Go to your altar. Put yourself a sacrifice. And what is this sacrifice? Which means self-denial. To to, to go, going back to your altar, to be a sacrifice, huwag kang maging drug addict. Anong gawin mo? Prayer addict. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be prayer addict, Ate MJ. Be prayer addict, Ate Rose Melinda. Amen? Kung paano ka na-addict sa teleserye, paano ka na-addict sa Facebook, paano ka na-addict, ano pa ba yung mga nagkaka-addictan po natin? Ano po? Shabu. Kung paano ka na-addict sa shabu, sa cocaine, halisin na po natin lahat ng addiction na yon. Be prayer addict. Sabi po na nila, I should be A prayer addict. Yung bagang pag hindi ka makapag-pray, Kuya Edgar, nanginginig ka, kaya kailangan mag-pray ka na, hindi ka pa nakakapag-pray, Kuya Rod. Amen? Nakashopping ka na, nakarang the island ka na, nakahiking ka na, gabi na, hindi ka pa nakakapag-pray. Hindi prayer addict yon, Okay? Pleasure addict. 
Okay, kaya kailangan be prayer addict. Yung prayer addict po, kasama na po ang pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos. Be hungry and thirsty for God and the Holy Spirit. And third to the last, desire to love and please God by living with purity and holiness. I-desire daw po natin na mahalin ng Diyos. Alam niyo, pag minamahal natin ng Diyos, hindi po, uh, uh, hindi po kailanman nawawalan ng pabor, imalat pagpapala ang kanyang mga anak na nagmamahal sa kanya. Those who love God will also be loved by God. The Lord loves us all, but the Lord has an intimate and the Lord has His close. Yung baga, pag lagi mo siyang minamahal, bagamat mahal na mahal niya tayo, pero kung sino po ang laging He make them, they make them as His top priority, God will also make you as His top priority. Mahal tayo ng Lord sa oras na ito ngayon, pero kung sino man ang mas na nagbibigay ng panahon sa kanya, sila ang kanyang mga inuuna. Kaya po, sabi niya, not only a prayer addict, not only hungry and thirsty, but desire to love and please God by living, mamuhay ka ng merong kabanalan at katapatan. And lastly, always give God the highest glory, honor and thanksgiving. When the Lord blessed you, when the Lord anointed you, when the Lord used you, when the Lord gave the very desire of your heart, huwag tayong mag-amnesia. Ibigay natin ang pinakamataas na karangal at kalwalhatian. Because you know, if the Lord is glorified always in your life, the Lord will always put His fire in us and He will also use us for His glory. Bago tayo tumayo, the baptism of fire comes from the Holy Spirit. And this is the fire that gives us power, love, and purity. Power to do miracles and the power to sustain our faith till the end. Desire this morning and you will receive it. Tayo pong lahat ay tumayo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Sige po, as what I have preached, only those who are hungry and thirsty, only those who are active, Only those who are willing na matanggap ang baptism of fire are the only ones who will receive it this morning. Pwede kang malampasan. Pwede kanyang lampasan pag hindi mo siya i-recognize, i-welcome. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Awitin natin, Brother John. Holy Spirit, come down on me. Come down on me. As you worship Him, wag mong tignan ng kaliwat kanan mo. Makag-focus ka, Lord, kung gusto mong maranasan ang baptism of fire sa Panginoon sa oras na ito. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Kung kaya mong itaas ang iyong dalawang kamay, kung kaya mo siyang awitan ng buong puso, lakas at kaluluwa, even in the Zoom, even in the live Facebook, if you want the baptism of fire, Yes, hallelujah. Awitan natin siya sa oras na ito. Lord, we need you. Holy Spirit, we need you. Oh, hallelujah. Help us to be very sensitive. Help us to be very sensitive with your power. Help us to be very sensitive with your anointing. Hallelujah. I need your presence. I need your presence. I need your presence. Sige po, awitan natin. Ma gawin mong panalangin. Kung gusto mong maranasan. Kung gusto nating maranasan ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos ngayong umaga. Habang umawit ang music team. Yes, Lord Jesus. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. What do you need from the Lord this morning? Kailangan mo ba ng fire of the Holy Spirit? Just close your eyes. Desire and pray for it. Desire and pray for it. Oh God, we need your fire so that we can sustain our faith. We need your fire so that we'll receive your miracles. We need your fire, oh God.
so that we can live with purity and holiness. We need your fire to overcome our trials. Yes, hallelujah. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Even in the Zoom, even in the Zoom right now. Oh God, Holy Spirit, just raise up your hand. Close your eyes and believe the Holy Spirit will fall in you. Hurra, bara, 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 come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sharabaka, na itas mong yung kamay. Just close your eyes. Be ready. Be ready, the Lord will pour out this fire. Iyara, ba, 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 ba. Iyara, ba, 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 ba. Sharabaka, ba, 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 ba,
already the power you have not only have the power but that power should explode through the Holy Spirit to sustain that baptism of fire be hungry and thirsty always for God yes I pray yung pong may mga sakit karamdaman sa inyo mayroon ka ng kapangyarihan kapatid na ano man ang hawakan ng iyong kamay makakaranas ng himala ng kagalingan. Come on, just put your hand on your body. Yes, nareceive mo ng baptism of fire ngayon and revival. Put your hand on your body. Exercise that power. Let that power explode. At kung wala ka namang sakit karamdaman, meron ka bang mga himalang gustong maranasan sa pamilya mo? Just pray for them as they put their hand on their bodies right now because you already have the power. You already have the fire in you through the Holy Spirit. Right now, oh God, we will exercise the power on high through the Holy Spirit. Yes, in Jesus' name, as they put their hand on their sick bodies right now, I rebuke it in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke any sickness and disease. I rebuke any sickness and disease. I rebuke any sickness and disease. Believe it, believe it, believe it, believe it. Believe it, believe it, believe it. Yes! Let the fire of miracle healing be upon them. We not lose. We not lose the miracle healing upon them. We not lose the miracle healing upon them. Believe it. You receive it. You receive it. Even in the live Facebook. Even in the live Facebook. Yes. We release the baptism of fire to those who are watching. To those who are watching even in the Zoom. Father, right now. Right now, God, the Holy Spirit. Baptize them with fire. Let your miracle healing touch be upon them. Receive. Receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord is just leading me. We want to release the baptism of fire to all the worship team. Come on, run as fast as you can. And we release the baptism of fire to you. Worship team, worship team, come on. Hurra kataraba kataraba shikararaba kande. Yaraba kataraba shikararaba kataraba kataraba shikararaba kanda. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Desire. Desire the baptism of fire in you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Sharaba ba 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 kanda. Come on, desire. And workers assist, please. Workers assist. Hurra ba kataraba shikararaba kanda. Be ready. Be ready right now. Lord, as we release, 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 the baptism of fire upon them. I release, I release, I release the baptism of fire upon you. Receive, 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 receive the baptism of fire upon you. Receive right now, receive, receive, receive the baptism of fire. Receive, receive. You will never be the same again. 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 Receive, receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Receive right now. Receive, yes. You will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. You will do greater miracles than before. Yes. Hallelujah. Receive. Receive. Receive the fire. Receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Receive 
right now. Receive yara kata taraba, shara ba 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 ba, yara ba 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 ba, shara ba 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 ba, yara ba 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 ba, shara ba 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 ba. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ya kata ta 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 taraba shanda, yara ba 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 ba, shara da 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 da, shara ba ba kanda. Yes, congregation, just worship the Lord. 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 Yes, we we want to release fire to all the life group leaders. Life group leaders. Life group leaders. Yara ba 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 ba. Yara ba ba. Life group leaders and ministry heads. Life group leaders and ministry heads. We want to release the fire. We want to release the fire. We want to release the fire to you. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Be ready, be ready. Lord, we release. We release the fire of the Holy Spirit. They will never be the same again. They will never be the same again. Receive. 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 Raise up, raise up, raise up. 
Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Yes, hallelujah. nakatanggap ng baptism of fire, just run as fast as you can. This is the last call. Yes, yeah, so that you will not be missed. Yes, hindi ka malampasan ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. You know, the Holy Spirit is impressing in this leadership and in my heart, even you are an ordinary member, you will be used by God to declare His glory. When you pray for the sick, the sick shall recover. When you pray for the oppressed, they will be delivered. When you pray for your family, miracles are happening. Yes, and this is the fire of God. The Lord wants us to explode so that people will know and see that the Lord whom we are serving is a miracle working God. Lord, salamat. Sa kakaibayo ninyong pagkilos ngayong umaga. Ama, we will never be the same again. Some of them go back to their doctors. Lord, magugulat sila. Maging clear ang kanilang mga blood test and even their examination. Lord, some of them naka-schedule na ma-surgery. Pero Lord, pagbalik nila... The doctor will now cancel their surgery because you have already uh, healed them and healed them because of the power of God. Ang mga pamilyang nawasak ng kaaway, pag-uwi nila sa kanilang mga bahay-bahay, naayos na ang kanilang relasyong magulo. Oh God, what a great fire, what a great explosion of the power of the Holy Spirit. Can you just give God a clap offering this morning? Lord Jesus, even in the Zoom, even in the live Facebook, among banal, receive, we also release, we release, we release the miracles upon them. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to you all the glory, praises and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, this we pray, everyone say and shout, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! Sige po, manatili po tayong nakatayo at silyuhan po natin ang mga blessings na nareceive natin sa umagang ito.
you want to experience victorious living spiritually, physically, financially, in all areas of human life, we need to exalt Jesus. Once again